Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Professor West for GMC. We are working with PowerPoint and today I'm going to show you how to create a presentation or open an existing presentation. So to do so, make sure you're on the um, file tab here and you have several options. You have a blank presentation, you have some themes, and if you've already had one recently opened, it should be listed here. Mine's not because mine's set to not show recently listed ones because I have some others that I don't want always to show up here. So to click on, I mean to, to choose one, let's start with a blank one. We're going to go ahead and just click on the blank presentation. That brings up a blank one that you can start working on as you see fit. Another thing we could do, let's go back to file. Instead of a blank one, we could pick one of these with the, a design. Or if you have uh, OneDrive, you could do it from there also. Um, you click open. And if you've shared some on OneDrive, OneDrive is a place where you can post these uh, presentations and Word documents and so forth and then share them with other coworkers, or um, maybe you work on it at home on your computer and you, you stick it on your OneDrive and that way it, um, when you get on your laptop later you could pull it down and start working on it. So it's just an online storage space for these documents. You have to be logged into your Microsoft account to be able to do it though. That's the only thing. So you should all have a Microsoft account so that should not be an issue. Okay, so if you want to do a new one, you could click on Blank Presentation, or you could click New. This gives you more options. A minute ago, there was only a few themes that were listed here. Um, now we have a lot. And a theme is just a way that it's already set up so that you can go in. If you find one you like, you can go in and just make changes that you need. So for example, if I decided I like this one, they call it 3D float design, I could double click it and that would be the theme for my presentation now. And I could go in and make changes to whatever I need by, just by clicking on it. You could change anything. You can change the background, you can change the pictures, you can change the font type and all that stuff, just like you always could. If you don't want to do that, you can also use what we call a theme. Themes are right here. Um, they're these beneath presentation themes and in the search bar so you can tell it what kind of theme that you'd like. Themes give a little more help. They're a little more powerful and they're set up to do a little more of the stuff for you. And let me show you some things about themes. So as I said, a theme helps you control the color palette, the basic fonts, the slide layout, and other important things. You can go up to design and click on it and then just point to these. We call it mouse over because your mouse is going over it. And any of these, would, if you click on it, would be applied to your presentation. If I like that one, I could click on it and now look, it change it to all my slides. If I decide, oh wait, I like this one better, I could click on it. And now it's going to apply that to all my slides. But did you notice that this changed? That's what happens. If I click back on this one, it's, it's set up like this where the words are side by side. But on this one, it's pushed over to the left and the words are on top of each other. If you click the down arrow here, there's more that you could choose from. And there's quite a bit. You may have to go through it and play around with it and find ones that you like. And then each one, like let's say I decide I want this one. Okay, that's going to be my theme. Well, over here at the right, there's a variance of that theme. So notice how right now by default it's got this kind of bluish background. Well, look at this one. It's got kind of a brownish background instead. It's the same theme but with different colors. This one has green. This one has different blue. 
So it's not exactly the same, but it's close. And if I pick on one of these others, like I click that one, notice now they've changed again. The different variants, I can have a white background with some of these colors, or a black background, or orangish. When you apply themes, there's something you really need to watch out for. Look at my slide number four here. When I click on this slide, you can hardly see this text now because it was already gray text and now it's on a black background. You can't see that. So I would either have to go in and highlight this text and just like we did in Microsoft Word or Excel, come in and change the color to something brighter so that you could read it. Or it simply would not be readable. This is extremely important because if you don't pay attention to this, some of your slides could turn out like this one was, which would not work out well. Now, let me show you one more thing. You can go in and you can change all the stuff. I mean, like I just showed you, I could change the font color. I could change the font size. Um, it's already 16 right now. I could make it 20. And I could change it to Google Sans. I could change that to any other one I want. All the stuff that I could change before in Word, I can change on here as well. So let me show you one last thing. If you come to Home, there's an, one right here that says, hold on. Okay, this one right here, the little one with the blue arrow, that says, if you point to it and sit there for a second, it says reset. That sets it back to how it originally was when you click on it. Or it should. Hmm. It's very odd. I don't know why it's not doing it. It should set it back. Interesting. Well, you can always go into design and find a different template. Anyway, so that's all there is, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye, everybody.